Hello everyone and welcome back to our week looking at miracles and healing of Jesus and we are back today with another healing. So Shona, what have you got for us today? Well today Dave, we are going to be looking at the story of Bartimaeus. Bartimaeus, great name. I know. Um, And we are going to be looking about how he was healed, obviously, because we're talking about healing. There you go. Would you like to read it for us? I'd love to. So this is Luke 18, verses 35 to 43. As Jesus approached Jericho, a blind man was sitting by the roadside begging. When he heard the crowd going by, he asked what was happening. They told him, Jesus of Nazareth is passing by. He called out, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. Those who led the way rebuked him and told him to be quiet, but he shouted all the more, Son of David, have mercy on me. Jesus stopped and ordered the man to be brought to him. When he came near, Jesus asked him, What do you want me to do for you? Lord, I want to see, he replied. Jesus said to him, Receive your sight, your faith has healed you. Immediately he received his sight and followed Jesus, praising God. When all the people saw it, they also praised God. Now, we don't know why Bartimaeus stopped being able to see. We don't know if he was born with it or maybe it was something that happened later on. But what we do know is that it must be really hard. It was so hard that Bartimaeus had to sit on the side of a road and beg. And also, Dave, do you remember in what you just read when people rebuked him? What does that mean? It means they they told him off. They told him off. So to me, it doesn't seem like people maybe respected Bartimaeus as much as as much as they might have respected other people. Yeah, they definitely thought he was not worth their time, not worth Jesus's time. And that must have been so hard. But something that has stuck out to me, actually, what when you've just read it, is the fact that Bartimaeus doesn't just stop, does he? When he's rebuked, he doesn't just sit there silently, but instead he shouts out again. And sometimes I know if I really, really want something, I might ask once. And if I don't get it, I might ask again and again and again. And that's how I know that I really, 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 really want it. So here we see that this is some, Bartimaeus really wants his sight back. He really wants that encounter with Jesus. Jesus said to Bartimaeus, he said, go, your faith has made you well. Jesus didn't stand there and go, well, um, Bartimaeus, I just have a few questions for you. Um, My first question is, you know, those 10 commandments that I gave that that man Moses all those years ago, um, have have you actually followed them? Oh, you haven't. Okay. Um, Have you given everything you own away? Have you, um, how many, how many people have you helped today? Have you met with other people who are friends with me or, and have you told anyone about me? No, Jesus didn't ask those questions. Now, Jesus loves it when we do those things. And he would have loved it if Bartimaeus um, had done those things. But the truth is he didn't. I don't do it. No one does all of those things because no one other than Jesus is perfect. Because all of us, we do this thing called sin. And we've, we've spoken about it before. Sin is the things that keep us far from God. The things that Jesus and God look at and they don't necessarily smile at. And even though Bartimaeus maybe might not have done all those things... Jesus healed him anyway. Because the thing is, we can't earn healing, but Jesus wants us to have it. So instead of earning it, instead of trying to do things, instead of getting all these things ticked off, checked off, he just wants us to have faith and ask. When people aren't healed straight away on earth, it isn't because they haven't done enough praying or they haven't told enough people about Jesus. It's because healing isn't something that we can earn. All we can do is ask and trust, no matter what the outcome is. So my question for you today is, how easy or hard do you find it to ask Jesus for something? That is a really, really good question. So I hope you enjoy talking about that. I hope you're able to be honest with one another about that question. And we'll be back tomorrow with the final in our week of Jesus and his miracles. Woohoo! Bye-bye. Bye. Bye.